Hello everyone, this is Warhawk Beyond 2040 and welcome to another edition of the Progressive Rock and Metal album review series. And today I am going to be taking a look at a period from a band's long and impressive catalogue. And they've been around for almost 36 years now, since the mid 80s. And they've had a number of different lineup changes and various singers coming and going, with the exception of one band member who has played on every single album and has been a part of every single lineup in the band's entire existence. And as I mentioned, they've had a number of lineup changes, but for me, in my honest opinion, this band's current lineup is without a doubt their strongest to date. And these guys need no introduction whatsoever. I am talking about, of course, the one and only American heavy metal band Camelot. So Camelot was formed in 1987 by guitarist Thomas Youngblood, who has played on every single Camelot album and has been a part of every single lineup of the band's history. And as I mentioned, this current lineup is Camelot's strongest to date, and it is comprised of Thomas Youngblood on guitars and backing vocals, Oliver Palatai on keyboards and additional guitars, Sean Tippett on bass, Alex Landenberg on drums, and Tommy Kervik on lead vocals from Seventh Wonder, who joined the band in 2012 and has been in Camelot's now, coming up to nearly 11 years now already. And for me, Tommy Kervik is probably the best singer they've ever had. All due respect to Roy Khan, who he replaced. Roy Khan put Camelot on the map. But for me, Tommy Kervik has been a real breath of fresh air for Camelot. And he's just taken the band to unbelievable heights. And he's produced some of their best albums to date. And this lineup just continues to blow on all cylinders and just keeps getting stronger and stronger with every listen. So for today's edition, I am going to be taking a look at Camelot's period of albums from 2012 to 2020, which is a total of three studio albums and one live box set. And as always, I am going to be talking about each album individually and I'll be choosing which one I think is the best one. Not an easy task. You know, all of these Camelot albums with Tommy Kervik are just absolutely incredible, well-produced, well-written, and amazing music. You know, you couldn't ask for anything better with these guys, and it's very tough. But I think at the same time, there's something with these albums I think all Camelot fans will appreciate and respect. So we're going to start with the first album, and this came out in 2012, and this is Silver Form. So this is the first appearance of Tommy Kerovic, and these guys get off to an amazing start with him. This is a cracking album, lots of great tracks, Tommy Kerovic's vocals on full display, and he's just an absolute machine. Very charismatic, super talented, and an unbelievable singer you know he just really sounds at home with Camelot and he just sings like he's been singing with these guys for years you know that's a testament to what a great vocalist Tommy Kervik really is so let's have a look that is sweet artwork I must say so we got the lyrics here I love that gorgeous crow. Nice picture of the old days. More lyrics and a cool shot of Tommy Kervik himself. And uh, some more lyrics. And there's the, the man behind Camelot, Thomas Youngblood. And there's some more lyrics. Awesome shot of the band. Awesome picture. There's some more lyrics here as well. Uh, some more lyrics here as well. Very dark and sexy picture, I must say. <laughs> and uh, we got the credits as well. So the lineup for 
This album is Thomas Youngblood on guitars, Casey Grillo on drums, Oliver Palatai on keyboards, Sean Tibbetts on bass, and Tommy Kervik, of course, on vocals. And we've got some guest appearances from Eliza Ride from Amaranth, Elisa Whitebloods from Arch Enemy, and Saskia Payeth. And we've also got Myro on additional keyboards and orchestrations. And uh, we've got the Silverthorn Children's Choir as well. So, see, all stars aligned here. And we've got the credits as well. Top stuff here, I must say. So, tracks we've got on here are Manus D, Sacrimony, Angel of Afterlife, Ashes to Ashes, Torn, Song for Jolie, Veritas, My Confession, Silverthorn, Falling Like the Fahrenheit, Solitaire, The Three Part Suite, Prodigal Son, Parts One, Funeral L, Burden of Shame, The Branding, The Journey, and continuing a great collection of unbelievable songs every one of them is just kick-ass from start to finish and the standout tracks for me are sacrimony angel of life which features eliza ride from amaranth and elisa white gloods from arch enemy and you've got to see this live to believe it it's just absolutely incredible and this was actually the first track i ever heard with tommy kovic as the new singer of camelot and it's just unbelievable and elisa white's goods growling just really makes the hair on my arms stand up when she goes Rrr! you know it's just unbelievable falling like the fahrenheit which features eliza ride the free part prodigal sun suite and song for jolie and veritas but all of these tracks are outstanding no clunkers here at all so you know if, if you're looking to get into camelot's recent stuff this is the perfect place to start. You know, it's just an incredible album. So there you have it. Silver form. Great place to start and off to a strong start with Tommy Kovic as the new singer for Camelot. Great stuff. So we move on to the next album and this came out in 2015 and this is Haven. So great follow ups from Silver form. Lots of great songs. Well produced well written and these guys just continue to keep getting stronger and stronger so let's have a look and we've also got some special guest appearances from elisa white Glutz from arch enemy charlotte wessels from delane troy donnickley from nightwish saskia payeff on additional guitars and myro on additional keyboards as well so some pretty big names here so I got the lyrics here and the cool shots of Tommy Kervik. One thing I love about Camelots is they do some incredible artwork here. And some more lyrics here. There's the man behind Camelots, Thomas Youngblood himself. They have some more lyrics and some more cool artwork. Some more lyrics here. Awesome shots of the band. And some more lyrics here. And some more lyrics here. Cool shot there. And some more lyrics as well. And some more lyrics here. And as I said, more great artwork. And uh, we got the credits here as well top stuff i must say so tracks we've got here are fallen star insomnia citizen zero veil of elysium under gray skies my therapy excelsior end of innocence beautiful apocalypse liar liar wasteland monarchy here's to the fall revolution and haven excellent stuff and as i said these guys just continue to keep getting better and better so standout tracks for me are insomnia citizen zero liar liar wasteland monarchy haven here's to the fall and excelsior but again you know no bad songs here just 
great music from start to finish and Keravik, he just kicks ass on vocals and the entire band, they just sound absolutely fantastic. So there you have it, Haven and a great follow up from Silverform. So we move on to the next album and this came out in 2018 and this could very well be my favourite Camelot album with Tommy Kervig and this is The Shadow Theory. So Tommy Kervig is already in the band now and these guys just continue to keep getting better and better, stronger and stronger musically and this for me is quite possibly the best album that they've done with Tommy Kerovic so far. It's just an incredible album. So let's have a look. Awesome artwork. There's Tommy Kerovic looking like a badass. <laughs> that is a brilliant singer. There's a cool shot of Thomas Youngblood. There's some more lyrics. Nice. Cool shot of the Oliver Pelletai. Awesome, awesome artwork. Sean Tibbetts is looking like he's getting ready to lay down some serious dirty bass playing. I love it. Some more lyrics there. Awesome shot of the band, especially Kerabit, you know, with his hoodie on, looking like he's stepped out of an Assassin's Creed game. <laughs> I love it. There's uh, credits. And some more credits. So we've got here guest appearances from Lauren Hart from Only Human, Jennifer Haben, and we've got choirs as well. So good stuff here. And pretty much the same lineup here. We've got Tommy Kervik on vocals, Thomas Youngblood on guitars, Sean Tibbetts on bass, Oliver Palatai on keyboards, and Johan Nunez on drums. But excellent stuff here, I must say. So tracks we've got here are The Mission, Phantom Divine, Shadow Empire, Ravenlight, Amnesiac, Burns to Embrace, In Twilight Hours, Kevlar Skin, Static, Mindful Remedy, Stories Unheard, Vespertin, My Crimson Bride, The Proud and Broken, and Ministrame, Shadow Key. Excellent stuff here, I must say. Standout tracks for me are Phantom Divine, Ravenlight, Amnesiac, Static, Stories Unheard, The Proud and the Broken, and Ministrium Shadow Key. But really, really good album. This is Probably my favourite Camelot album of the three that Tommy Kervik has done. You know, it's just fantastic here. And Lauren Hart, the way she's able to sing from angelic to growl, you know, it's just <laughs> bone chilling. I love it. But there you have it. Camelot, The Shadow Theory. Excellent album and great follow up from Haven and Silverform. So we move on to the next one, and this is a live box set. This is I Am The Empire, live from the 013. So this is from Camelot's Shadow Fury Tour from 2018. And if you're looking to listen to Camelot's music with Kerovic, I highly recommend you get the live box set. It's just really well worth spent, I think. And you get two CDs, a DVD and a Blu-ray and the production, the film quality, everything about it is just top notch. So let's, uh, let's have a look. Oh, look at that. Nice. Very, very nice box, I must say. So uh, there we are. There's all the Camelot fans. Some more. Kervik's just on fire here. As great as Kervik sounds in the studio, he just sounds even better live, I think. He's just an amazing singer. And he's very, very charismatic as well. Could very well be my favourite singer 
from the metal genre and certainly the best metal singer since Dream Theater is James Labrie. He's just an incredible vocalist. There's some more cool shots of the band. There's some more there. I love how Elisa Whitebloods looks like she just stepped out of an Avengers movie with her black cape and her blue hair. I love it. There's some more cool shots here. Eliza Rowe looks like she's just stepped out of a Ice Princess Disney movie. It's, it's really, really cool. And, uh, some more shots of the band with some of the fans. And there's some credits as well. So Camelot is, of course, Tommy Kervik on vocals, Thomas Youngblood on guitars, Sean Tibbetts on bass, Oliver Palotai on keyboards, and Alex Landenberg on drums. Guest appearances from Lauren Hart from Only Human, Elisa White Glutz from Arch Enemy, Eliza Ride from Amaranth, and Charlotte Wessels from Delane and Saskia Payef as well. So big names there from Metal. And uh, there's the credits as well. But yeah, definitely uh, well worth buying if you're looking to get into Camelot's recent stuff. So highly recommended. So tracks we've got here are Transcendence, Phantom Divine, Shadow Empire, Rule the World, Insomnia, The Great Pandemonium, When the Lights Are Down, My Confession, Veil of Elysium, Under Grey Skies, Raven Light, End of Innocence, March of Mephisto, Am Amnesiac, Manus Dale, Sacrimony, Angel of Afterlife, Drums and Keyboard Solo, Ears to the Fall, Forever, Burns to Embrace, and Two Encores, Liar Liar, Wasteland Monarchy, and Ministrium Shadow Key. Great set list. So if I was to put together my own set list for Camelot's, it would pretty much look close to this. So standout tracks for me are Phantom Divine, Shadow of Empire, Rule the World, Insomnia, Amnesiac, Sacrimony, Angel, Afterlife, which for me is just the best track of the entire life set, and Liar Liar, Wasteland Monarchy, and Ministrium Shadow Key. So there you have it. I Am The Empire, live from the 013 top stuff here. So which Camelot Tommy Kervig album do I think is the best one? Well, that's pretty easy, really. The Shadow Theory. Kick-ass album, well-produced, well-written. Tommy Kervig sounds like a machine on the vocals. The entire band sound absolutely tight. You know, the guest singers, they sound fantastic as well. And it's got a lot of my favourite songs on here too. So can't go wrong, really. And quite frankly, all of the Camelot's albums with Tommy Kervik are fantastic. They're all great. They could be anyone's favourites, but for me, this is the one that stands out for me. One, because it was the first album I ever got, and two, it's just got so many great songs. You just can't go wrong. So that's going to be it from me. I am going to wrap this up now. What's your favourite Camelot album with Tommy Kervik? Is it Silverform? Is it Haven? Is it for Shadow Theory or is it the live box set, I Am The Empire, Life From The 013? There's no right or wrong answer. We all have our favourite albums. You know what to do, guys. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave your thoughts and comments down below. And I will be back next time for a future edition of this series where I will be talking about Camelot's newest album, which is due to be released the following month called The Awakening. So make sure you don't miss that. And I'm very much looking forward to listening to it and talking about it with all of you guys. Should be a good one. So until next time, take care, everybody, and stay safe. And once again, as always, much appreciated. Thanks for listening.